Uh, this is Jonathan from Action Pack. What we have here today is a ME1095 CP. It's a custom powdered scale. Uh, this is a, a single head scale designed to do about uh, anywhere to 12 to uh, 15, 17 cycles a minute. Um, so what's new for 2011 is we have a new conical hopper design. This assists in the difficult powder flow and also helps to keep any residuals out of any square corners. Uh, it's equipped with a hopper vibrator on the back which can be turned on and off depending on if you need it. Uh, the, uh, the feeder pan also has been modified. It is the uh, straight sided feeder pan and also assists in the, uh, the product flow. Makes, makes it faster and also uh, no accrual. So right here we have a uh, uh, lever basically when we turn this and that also increases or decreases the amount of product flow in there. Uh, this is an ME1095, which means that uh, it comes with equipped with a, a top-down lane gate. So what that is designed to do is uh, when you start running the product, you can start a thicker amount of flow. And when it goes into the dribble mode, the gate closes here and shaves off the top head of the product and gives you the better accuracy. The uh, way bucket, standard 5-inch way bucket, and the funnel here is just a standard open funnel. So you... Uh, plug the unit into your compressed air. It requires about 40 to 60 pounds of compressed air. You uh, plug the unit into uh, electricity and then basically here's where you go. You come to a startup screen here where it uh, is a revision 921 and then there you just have the regular uh, scale reading the, uh, the actual weight. If you press down on the weight bucket you'll see the numbers going up there. So this is a startup screen. doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, in the manual, it says to recall a program, followed by the two-digit code. For example, this, this has been set up for 4, 8, 12, and 16 ounces. So the two-digit code pretty much uh, follows the uh, amount of weight. So a 16 would be a 16 ounce, 12 would be a 12 ounce, uh, 08 is 8 ounce, 04, 4 ounce. So let's start with the 08 ounce, 08, and you'll see 08 up there. And then you also now you would dump the weigh bucket manually by pressing the 5 button. Also it says dump on there. That in ensures that the bucket is empty so that you're not filling on a partial load. So you'll, you'll notice once you press start here, the gate opens up. The bulk to about 7 ounces gives you the dribble and then there we're at a uh, hundredth of an ounce, 8 ounces exactly. Uh, our, a couple features that make Action Pack stand out from other competitors is our ability to get better accuracy. And um, so with this, with our high resolution load cells and our controller, we're able to achieve uh, some of the best accuracy in the automation. We make specialty forming funnels, um, standard coffee bags, standard any kind of uh, um, bag that you can imagine. We also do clamshells, uh, jars, any kind of uh, packaging imaginable. So going back to the scale here, I just have a, a dump bucket here that I'm going to be dumping into. Uh, the machine comes equipped with the foot pedal and now uh, if we're ready to go, nothing happens until they step on the pedal and the step on the pedal and the scale starts over. So there it is again, 7 ounces, 8 ounces. And you can see the operator would put the bag under the funnel, step on the pedal, and it starts over. You can hear the vibrator kicking on. Eight ounces again. So at any time, if you wanted to change or run a different program, all you need to do is uh, stop the scale. You dump the scale. This will manually dump the bucket. And then you just recall basically the basic startup again. Uh, a different program. In this case we'll run a 16 ounce program. And you can see it takes just a tad bit longer than the original uh, than the other program but we can also but basically uh, we didn't have to do any modifications to uh, the system at all and there's there's the 16 ounce. So we set up the scale with uh, all the different pre-programmed weights that you that you would uh, run uh, our controller can store up to 256 different weights, different recipes, different products. 
Uh, basically, you just give us your uh, weight requirement, product requirement, uh, jar sample, bag sample, and then we pretty much design the equipment around uh, all of your parameters. So uh, let's run a different program here. You stop it, dump it. Now let's say we want to do uh, four ounce. Recall zero four, zero your four ounce program. Start. Scale automatically knows. On the smaller weights, it's going to be a little bit faster. And so to adjust the speeds up and down, if you want to go faster or slower, once the product starts running, you just use these arrows up and down. Faster, and you have a bulk and a dribble there also. So now we're going a little pretty fast. It's not very spending very much time in the dribble, but it also increases your, uh, your speeds there. All the systems have a supervisor lockout, meaning that uh, you cannot make changes unless you enter the uh, supervisor code to get out of there. So this is uh, new for 2011, and if you need to uh, have any sales information uh, requests, give me an email. The email is john, J-O-N-C, at actionpackscales.com. You can also reach us at the web at actionpackscales.com. Thank you.